Hello everyone, I'm Crimson Minx and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about top 10 reasons to take pole and erotic dance classes. So I started taking pole and erotic dance classes back in the spring of 2013. And I know I speak for a lot of people when I say that it was life changing. And I'll preface this with saying that I've done other forms of movement and activities in my life. So I grew up playing sports and cheerleading. Um, I was a runner and a gym bunny for a long time. I've done yoga, I've done kundalini, um, pilates, I've done other forms of dance. I've done swing dance and cardio dance. And I'd say all these activities served me, but I wouldn't call them life changing. The transformative experience of pole and erotic dance is a little tough to put into words, but I'm gonna try my best. But before we start, let me define what I mean by erotic dance. So for our purposes, erotic dance is movement that is sensual and sexual in nature and intent. And so with pole dance, there's many different forms of pole dance. There's pole fitness, there's pole sport, there's pole art. But the pole dance I'm specifically speaking to in this video is the kind that falls into the erotic dance category. This is just the form of pole that I'm most familiar with. And I also call out pole dance because it's my thing. I have a pole dance podcast and small business called Pole Parlor and I'll put the link to that in the notes below if you'd like to check it out. And also pole dance is the gateway to erotic dance for a lot of women. So other forms of erotic dance include strip tease, burlesque, lap and chair dance, sensual floor work, certain types of twerking. I would even say certain forms of stiletto hip hop. So again, all in that sensual and sexual intent. So let's get started. Reason number one. And I think this is the one that is most synonymous when you hear of people taking pole dancing or exploring their sensuality. And this is empowerment. Specifically, the empowerment that comes from being in complete control of one's feminine sensual energy. And for the record, this is the complete opposite of sexual objectification, which seems to have been the driving force behind female sexuality in society for so long, right? So we're taught that sexuality is uh, shameful or negative but of course unless it's for male consumption or corporate profits right but we're turning that on its head and the way we're doing that is by releasing that stigma and instead celebrating and respecting our sexual powers but truth is we're really not taught how to feel the power of our sexuality which brings me to my next point reason number two Pole neurotic dance classes are the perfect places to explore all of this sensuality stuff. So dance studios are safe and nurturing environments where you can just let go, listen to the music, and let the movement flow through you. And I'll keep it real, at first it's pretty awkward and a bit uncomfortable, but um, eventually your primal instincts kick in and you realize that no one is judging you and you learn how to transfer that explosive sexual energy into dynamic movement and it's beautiful but truth is it's something that's a bit tough to explore on your own so i have to say that having the support of a trained instructor and the encouragement of classmates can really help you step into that power I'm telling you when women are given the opportunity to explore the physical and creative capabilities of their bodies in a safe and empowering environment, they really start to recognize their own strength and beauty. Number three, after the empowerment comes the self-love. And I know it sounds corny, but Sadly, self-love is something a lot of us have been lacking our entire lives. So back to the whole sexual objectification thing. We have been told by media and society that sexy is one thing. That it's skinny, that it's big boobs, that it's expensive and quote unquote flawless. And we are starting to call bullshit on that. And we are all beautiful and sexy in our own unique way. And it's time we stop letting society dictate to us how we should look and how we should act and what we should do. 
the way we do that is being okay with ourselves by having that self-love and feeling empowered. And these are qualities that come from taking pole and erotic dance classes. And I'm gonna argue that once someone understands how it feels to be sexy, to be beautiful, to be quote unquote perfect in their own way, that no idealized projected version is going to make them feel otherwise. Reason number four, love and acceptance of yourself equals love and acceptance of others. So as they say, our judgment of others is just a reflection and a mirror of our own self-judgment. So I'm just so grossed out when I see women breaking down other women based on what they look like or their own life choices and when men do this. And so one thing you learn in pole and erotic dance classes is to love and accept your thick thighs or your cellulite or your flat chest or you know big ears or whatever your perceived imperfections. And once you learn to accept and stop being so critical of yourself, you stop being so critical of other people's imperfections. And I argue that this just makes for a more loving, tolerant society as a whole. Number five, taking pole and erotic dance classes is a great way to meet friends as an adult. So when we're younger, it's pretty easy to make friends. We're in school, we're out partying, we're starting new jobs. But when we get older, things are different. People move on, people marry off, and sometimes we find ourselves missing those close friendships. So in comes the dance studio. Dance studios are a perfect place to meet other cool, open-minded, badass people like yourself. I'll argue that it's a little different than taking a fitness class or an educational class. This kind of dance requires a certain type of vulnerability and rawness, and it really forges deep bonds with other participants in the class. So I can honestly say that in my 30s, I have made some of my most meaningful deep friendships in this way. Reason number six. We touched on friendships, but how about relationships? While I think it comes to no surprise that taking pole and erotic dance classes makes you a better lover, but perhaps not for the reasons that you're thinking. So it's not because you learn specific technique or even because you become more flexible, but rather it's because of the self-confidence you gain. So confidence is sexy. Who wants to get down with someone who's only thinking about themselves and for some reason over concerns that they're inadequate naked? It's not hot. So, um, but even more importantly is that through pole and erotic dance classes, we learn to be more open and to explore and to be more playful. And according to Women's Health, 59% of men and women say they want to make their sex lives more playful and fun. And that's what we do in these dance classes. We explore different movement. We feel on ourselves. We learn to feel comfortable in front of an entire class of people wearing booty shorts and a bralette. We crawl on the ground. We sometimes even use props and perform for our classmates. So uh, according to another study, a majority of women are dissatisfied with their sex lives. So I argue here is the perfect opportunity to change that. Reason number seven, taking pole and erotic dance classes gives you an excuse to buy cute, sexy clothes and a place to wear them. I don't think I need to expand on that. Reason number eight, just because pole and erotic dance classes aren't specifically fitness classes does not mean that you aren't gonna get in shape. Swinging around a pole, crawling around the floor, holding isolated moves, uh, dancing feverishly to music, it is a damn workout. Uh, you will see physical results, and I will argue that it is way more fun than grinding away at the gym. Reason number nine. In addition to benefiting your physical health, pole and erotic dance can also help positively affect your emotional and spiritual health. There have been countless studies done to support that dance movement is a great way to reduce stress and to increase the feel-good hormone serotonin. 
and to increase brain function and to enhance your mood. But beyond that, people have been dancing since the dawn of time. And historically, dance has been very closely connected to a spiritual practice. The rhythmic movement of polonerotic dance is a great way to connect with a higher energy source. And if you're really woo-woo, people even argue that it can help you connect with a higher consciousness. As prolific modern dancer and choreographer Martha Graham says, dance is the hidden language of the soul. And finally, reason number 10. When you take pole and erotic dance classes, you become part of a community of empowered, open-minded, badass women and men from around the globe. Let's be honest, as a society, our idolization of celebrities and socialites has become absurd. We feed energy to these people. We make them rich. We make them president. And I argue that these are not the type of people that we should be giving our energy to. I truly think that when we find a tribe of people who we can relate to and admire, we stop feeding into the negative, vapid media culture. Uh, instead, we spend time connecting with like-minded individuals and sharing our passions. So for instance, we start sharing and watching poll videos instead of reality television. Or we start admiring voluptuous, outspoken burlesque stars as opposed to silent, wafy models from magazines. Uh, we see imperfect people doing imperfect things online and we applaud their efforts as opposed to trolling them or leaving hate-filled comments. Community is everything and I truly believe that the pole neurotic dance community is such a positive, passionate, loving force to be a part of. I hope to go more into depth on these topics in future videos, but for now, those were my top 10 reasons of why you should take pole and erotic dance classes. Pole and erotic dance is for people of all ages, genders, cultures, backgrounds. So if you haven't yet, I hope this video encourages you to look up your local studio and give it a try. And if you have already taken some of these classes and have something you'd like to add to the list, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can subscribe to the channel and I am also including all my social media links below. Bye.